Attention students, meet in the auditorium today at 2 p.m. Luxury condos available soon. Schedule a tour next week. CPS schools have been closed for more than a year due to contract disputes and budget cuts. Parents and students are eager for a solution. I really like routine in my life. I mean, and school just kind of provided me with that. And I need to get back into Model UN. Honestly, I thought I was going to get this little monster into kindergarten. Tech giant Larry Allen is rolling out his much anticipated solution to this year-long standstill as we speak. My name is Larry Allen, and I am very excited to present to you the future of education. This is SchoolNet. Everyone deserves to be a part of this revolution, and no one should be left behind. Now we're just going to end up being mutant kids, half technology, half biology, walking around, pooping out motherboards. Remaining members of the now defunct Chicago Teachers Union are calling this announcement one of the biggest corporate takeovers in modern history. This is like the biggest corporate takeover ever. They don't care about these kids. All they care about is the bottom line, money. Oh kids, come and sit on a toilet all day with your fancy headset on and just sit there drooling and pissing on yourself all day. Using the latest groundbreaking technology, I have created SchoolNet. SchoolNet gives all of us the opportunity to learn whatever we want. Anything? Uh, can I have my phone back? What? Absolutely not. Sir, this woman stole my phone and won't give it back. Do you know what we found on this phone? Well, you can't just go through my stuff without my permission. This is a matter of safety and security, Nia. And I don't appreciate you interrupting Look, me. I didn't do anything. And speaking of being rude and disrespectful, let me apologize for Ms. Meyer's behavior. She can get a little bit worked up sometimes. She's probably a little bit drunk. 
Hello, Nia. It's so nice to finally meet you. Can we do an air handshake? <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, old man joke. So I'm gonna get right down to it. You are a very impressive young woman. I was able to sift through some of the code you used to hack our announcement. It, I mean, it was like poetry. We need young people like you in our company. Are you familiar with uh, white hat hacking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, dumb question. Well, we really need someone to do exactly that for SchoolNet. How would you like to work for us and actually get paid for this kind of stuff? Before you answer, come to the office, see what we're about, all right? I've got a few pre-production nebulas for employees. We'll get you one just for showing up, just for walking in the door. Hell yeah, man, I'm in. Oh, great, okay. That's awesome, wonderful, I, perfect. I'm gonna send a car for you on Monday and we will meet then, I'll see you then. Thank you so much. Awesome, dude. Thank you. See you then. I'm just gonna check it out. Don't get all... Oh, no, don't get all what? Don't get all what? Nothing. Oh, don't get all upset. This is fascist evil shit right here. Right, here no, I've been saying that for months, and now here it is, coming in here. Oh, no, and I'm supposed to be all like, oh, what? It's cool, like... It's Are you done? Cool. Oh, am I done? That's how you talk to me. You've grown up to be a real shit, you yeah, know that? Yeah, you're right, Mom. I'm wrong. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Oh, you know what? What, do you want me to have a job? I don't have a job. Okay, that's taking people's jobs. You like the house you're living in or you want to be homeless? You gotta think about this stuff, Nia. Oh my God, whatever, Mom. It's true, okay? Ago. My mom is going totally overboard. Um, yeah, um, hey, so for this game, uh, you have to hold the controller like a rifle and then you shoot at the buffalo. <laughs> Just like that. Boom! Got him. <laughs> Yo, today was incredible. I mean, the video of you already has like 12,000 views. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Reality is a simulation. That was gold. I mean, so, uh, I got pulled into Meyer's office today, and we were like live chatting this school nut dude. Well, I mean, Meyer's was shitting a brick, but the school nut dude was actually kind of chill. What? I mean, they want to like offer me a job, and they're going to give me a free nebula just for going in. Okay, Nia, do you hear yourself? You sound so lame. Oh, I don't know, but the dude from school nut was pretty chill. Uh, that dude sucks. I mean, okay, I haven't even accepted the job offer yet. I'm not just gonna give up a free All right, phone. Uh, I gotta go. Wait, Lily. Lily left the game. New player joined the game. How are you doing that? Do you want this power? Uh, yeah. Is there a code? Come on, dude, hook it up. The code is everywhere. It's all around you. What the hell? You just have to open your eyes. Knock, knock.
Dropping off something for Nia. Oh, that's all right. Uh, just you know, whatever. Say hi to your parents, all right? Cause I'm just gonna go to bed. All uh, right, I will. Good night, Mrs. Anderson. Hey, uh, you going to that, that thing on Monday? Well, I mean, they're trying to charge like twenty dollars to go to that OC in Pilsen, and that's ridiculous. So I'm probably just gonna go to church or something. Uh, well, yeah, church is like the after party, but the school night protest. Y you're going, right? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally. I'm. Yeah, I'm going. Okay. Take this. It'll trick the drones. Oh. I actually got like a ton of other masks to hand out, so I'll see you Monday. Okay. Bye. follow your work, I guess. That thing you did last Friday, hacking the entire network, and the thing with Matt's headroom, that was iconic. I guess I've never really met a girl that could pull that kind of thing off before. Wow, thanks. Yeah, so I go to lab, but you know my dad, he knows Larry Allen, so he hooked me up with this sweet internship here. Yo, you wanna see something super dope? Okay. Yeah. So this is the red room. As you can see, we have a pretty freaking dope setup in here. Uh, a couple super fast processors over here. This one has like a terabyte of RAM. If you want to check it out, you're welcome to. I think Ralph should be done soon. Uh, okay. If you have any questions, I'm right here. Alexandria and Egypt. This place housed thousands of papyrus scrolls of stories, research, mathematical equations, and scientific theories. If you wanted to know something, this was the place to go. <laughs> Maybe one of the lowest points in human history, setting back the tide of discovery for, well, at least. <laughs> what? Hey, Sam. Hi, Nia. Saw your work back in the RR. Very impressive. So excited to have you on board for SchoolNet. Oh, thanks, Larry. Yeah, no, that was super fun. Uh, here, take a look at this Wait. offer, and here is that nebula, as promised. Oh, dude, the new nebula. These things are so dope. Check it out, Larry got me one, too. Hey, let's take a selfie. <laughs> oh, that's so good. If you look on your nebula, uh, you'll see you have about $300 in credits to use for whatever you want each week, okay? so. Go wild, have fun. Yeah, no, this this offer is amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Allen. Anything you need, Nia, let us know, okay? We're just so happy to have you on the team. Okay, so no, it's absolutely a thing. If you look up on your phone, you look up like retail group 
or retail, retail potty. potty. Like people do it. They're like very upset with customer service and so they take it upon themselves to be like, how can I act up in the store? Oh, I don't know, like a primate in the zoo. <laughs> I will use my own bodily function wow. in protest. And they go number two, they go potty and wrap like, it up in some place. number one? I believe yours. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Oh. It looks good. That's a good look. Your ride is here. Hey. You double fisting? <laughs> what? Uh, um. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, you wanna get some pho? Um. Oh, um, pho is this classic Vietnamese soup. It's so good. It's got like rice noodles, veggies. My personal favorite is the beef pho, but you probably don't eat meat, right? So. Uh, no, I, uh, I eat meat. Oh. I know what pho is. Perfect. Um, yeah. So, I'll see you later. Sweet, I'll, hey, I'll save you a fortune cookie. Your ride is here. Welcome, Nia. Thank you for riding with A Lyft. A Lyft is the safest and most affordable driverless car service available. Download the A Lyft app and listen to a playlist we made just for you. We value customers like you, Nia. Lyft is the safest and most affordable driverless car service available. Hello! It's good to see everyone. We have a special announcement coming very soon. If you do not have something covering your face, it's time to change that now. A group of masked teenagers froze in downtown Chicago today in response to the recent rollout of SchoolNet, a virtual classroom replacement for Chicago public schools. Nearby billboard streams were hacked and played a disturbing pirate broadcast. The mysterious source of this hack concerns local law enforcement. This has me worried. Quite frankly, it has me worried a lot. This is a breach of security. It's not some just kind of silly prank. This is probably terrorist. You know, I know this isn't the first time that a hack like this has happened. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna say it's definitely terrorist. And we gotta be strong on this. <laughs> Look, you can see us in the background. Low key, you need to be more low key. I'm just excited that we're on TV, chill. No, 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 but like in general, um, like when you're on your phone or online, you just be careful, okay? Oh, look, there's Paolo. I'm gonna go say hi. Yeah, hi. Wasn't that great? Oh my god, it was awesome. I'm so excited. Hi. Hi. I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Where did you guys talk about? You want to meet the folks that put on the thing today? Yeah. Okay. That's good, yeah.
Hey, Kyle. Now, uh, what is the ETA on the Alternative Center? About two weeks. Anything else before I go? Hey, Kyle. Yes, Larry? Could you just talk to me for a bit? Well, what do you want to talk about? I don't know, man. Anything? Almost like you have a small head. It oh. feels really nice on my eyes. Hey Nia, I know this is like totally uncool, but I kind of need to take your phone and have to put it in that microwave. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, it's just Louisa. She's super paranoid about this kind of stuff. Okay. I promise no one's after you. This is Nia. Yeah, hey. This is Nat. That's David. Got Jamie over there. And this is Louisa. Do you know why I told Paolo to put your phone in the microwave? Uh, because you saw it in that Snowden movie and thought it was super cool. Oh my god, you totally did just see it in that movie. Do you know how many cameras you passed on your way here? How much you come in contact with network devices? You know they can see you through those cameras. They can control and they can manipulate what you see on screen. They control you. Dude, what, you, what the hell? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! I just did you a favor. Oh yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I'm so grateful. You have to pay for that. I'm not paying for that. Oh, why, why would you do You're that? You're welcome. Oh, oh shit, Will. Dude, I didn't think I was sick. Oh. Okay, uh, we can go. I want to go. Yeah. Do you want this? No. Sorry. It's okay. Let's get Sorry, to Lisa. Um, hey, really great job today. Um, I'll see you guys later. How do you know that girl, Lisa? Um, I know her from online and all those other people, too. We all got offered jobs by SchoolNet. Yeah, we got offered the same job that you did. What? Yeah. Only we said no. Uh, so now they're really pissed and they send us weird, threatening notifications. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Nia. Yeah. Good morning, Chicago, and thank you for tuning in. We have an exclusive sponsored report brought to you by SchoolNet. After a year of failed negotiations, students in Chicago are finally back in school. But these classrooms might not be what you expect. SchoolNet is a virtual reality education system, a simulated environment where students can explore, learn, and ultimately earn a high school diploma. We met with several students and parents to see how this new program is going. Yeah, it's great. I really, I mean, I like it, she likes it. Right? She, hold it. She, we like it. Just give it to me, I don't care, whatever. All right, let's go. I'm all for it. I mean, I think this is great. Like, the friends I've made on here are way better than the ones in real life. While most students are enjoying their free VR headsets, others are abusing this generous privilege provided by SchoolNet. Recent data shows that a handful of students are misusing and or hacking the hardware. To ensure that all students can safely and securely get an education, SchoolNet is building an alternative center. Troubled students will get the help they need in a safe and secure environment. Oh, shit.
Hey, Nia, do you have a second? Can we talk? No, I'm sorry. I'm no, wait, late. Nia. No, wait I, I've got to go. No. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll talk to you tonight, okay? Bye. Thank you for riding with a lift. Sorry, um, I was just kind of plugged in. That is why I love you. I'm, <laughs> that's why I love your work. I really, I love your work and your work ethic. Creepy, dude. No. Uh, what's up? Okay. Did you have a question? Uh, Nia, we made a video for you and we are just so proud. So this is from your buddies at school now. Oh, hey Nia, what up Chica? You are looking fabulous today, and that's why you are employee of the month! <laughs> you get a 1K bonus, you get a $200 GitHub credit, and a feature in Chicago Vation Magazine. How does that sound? It sounds amazing! I know it does! Remember, you are a rebel girl. You are changing this world. You keep doing you, and school net loves it. We love you, Nia. <laughs> You're very adept at coding. Congratulations. Glad you're on board, Nia. Great job. Woohoo! Congratulations to the dopest white hat hacker to ever live and my best friend, Nia Anderson. Nia, you're contributing to civilization in a positive way. Nia, you make every day feel like a birthday. <laughs> Everybody agrees. You are the bee's knees. Keep up the hard work and enjoy that bonus. Yes! <laughs> Kyle? What is the joke of the day? I have a stepladder. I never knew my real ladder. Not bad. <laughs> okay, uh, how about a song? Can you make up a song? This uses a lot of energy, and I don't want to. Do it, damn it! <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> that sounds like the Beatles. I didn't know you liked the Beatles, Kyle. <laughs> you have a call from Vince, bro. I, I, yeah, I know Vince. Put him on. Voice only. I do not want him to see me. Hey, Vinny. How are you? Hey, Lair. Uh, glad I could get a hold of you. Of course. Anything for you. You and your company are very important to me. We are so glad to have you on board. Talk to everybody like that, Lair? Like what? Listen, never mind, man. We're going through some of the early data, and it's a lot of data, which is great. One problem is that... Do you know why we invested in you, Lair? Because print died and fed into digital, which died and fed into video. And those three mediums died for one reason, is that the one after it could segment its audience in a more effective, affordable way. We believe you're that next platform. However, the three things those mediums did that you're not doing is that they served the freaking ad. If you're not serving an ad, you're worse than print your paper without text on it. So let's figure out why we're not serving any ads. Data showing nothing showing up, right? Well, shit. I'm I'm sorry. Okay, we'll we'll definitely take care of that. I just. Hey, do you like the Beatles? What? Hey, Kyle. Yes, Larry. Play the play the song you played for me. <laughs> Mayor, I'm gonna go. Figure out the ad problem, okay? Kyle, turn it off. Song sucks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just feeling so bummed out lately. You know? It's just awful. Every day, it's worse. I can't shake it. It's like, it's so bleak. You know what I think we should do, guys? We should protest. We should get out there on the streets and fight. Or we can just find those things and smash them. Yeah, yeah, I got an idea. So what if we get some acid, some speed, some mollies, put it in their drinking water, and freak them all out? We make a viral video. You know what we could do? We can get bags of shit, we light them on fire, and put them right out in front of their offices. Yeah, like dog shit or human shit. I'm like stinking, right in front of the viral video. Oh, viral video. Hey, no, I'm good. Nope, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> hey, Nance. What about Nia? Like she, she's like a programmer, right? Couldn't she like? No, that's not gonna happen. Ready? <laughs> oh, damn it. Are you alright? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How's work? Work's alright. Money's great. Starting to get a little boring, though. Yeah, we should bring back Max Headroom, but like at my work. There's this dude, Ralph, and he like always. <laughs> now can we talk? Shit, this looks bad. They sent that message to all of us. Me, Paulo, Luisa. I've never seen anything about any of this at work. Yeah, I can't get sent there. My dad is gonna be so pissed and he's already like so paranoid. <sighs> My cousin Summer was caught with weed three years ago and he's still not allowed in the house. That's a little overboard. Yeah, totally overboard. For you. I almost got so sick when I heard them call our hacks terrorist attacks on the news. Mia, I'm worried about your mother. She doesn't really mean I'm to. worried about you too, Nia. You and I are both rebels, but we know how to channel that energy. This stuff, it's just crazy. Yeah. Nia, I'm worried that your mom might be toxic and might hurt you emotionally, or eventually physically. Why didn't you let me talk? Nia, we want to guarantee the safety and security of all of our employees. I want you to consider relocating. There are state-of-the-art condos located in this building, and I reserved one for you, rent-free. I don't really think Nia, that- you're gonna be 18 in less than a month. This is an opportunity for you to be free, free to do whatever you want, with no negative Nancy. Well. I'll help you consider the offer and start packing your things. I have to go. Be safe, yeah? Hey, um, we should totally get some pokey tonight. It's like this super dope Hawaiian fish salad. It's got like, I think salmon. I already got plans, Sam. Sorry, okay. yeah, no. how can we do that? Sure, but just so you know, my dad has some really great connections and he can get us reservations at like any restaurant in the city, so we should totally get some dinner sometime. All right, dude, I'll catch you at work. Yeah, uh, thanks for the ride. <laughs> Thank you for riding with a lift. All righty. Adjust the temperature. Rerouting. Wait, excuse me. Rerouting. Um. Please contact customer wait. service. Customer service, wrong direction. This is the wrong direction. Error. Go to Clark and Lawrence. Clark and Lawrence. Rerouting. This is wrong. Override. Stop. Can you stop the car. Override. Pull over. Rerouting. Let me out! Help! Override. Help! Help! Someone get me out of here! No! Please contact Let me leave me alone! Let me get out of here! Ah! Ah! No! Help me! Customer service. Yeah, she can't get available. Stop fighting! It's us! Oh my god! Why would you do that? We're really that was sorry. so not cool! We're not sorry. It's the only way we could do it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Is it just uh, sparkling waters and I think I have a mild allergy? It makes my throat a little itchy. So you just go reg H2O? Just reg H. Ooh, reg H. Old the, old, the old reg H. Hey. Blair, Blair, Blair. How is the food? It's fine, pal. You should be here for it. All right. Uh, who's going to start us off today? Can't we get more kids to attend? I mean, even if they log into the damn thing for just like a second, then we'll have more of that sweet, sweet cash flow from the state that we can move around a little bit later. It's not gonna matter how much day cash we have if we don't focus on retention error. Listen, if the kids aren't seeing the ads, 
Ain't gonna matter, buddy. You know, uh, actually, Ad Stop's kind of a dimple on our butt right now because it's not letting the ads themselves play. Why do you have Ad Stop on the sets, Larry? I'm not doing it. Come on. It's these computer hackers. They sit at home, and then, then they mess with our ad. Do you know why you're here? You're here because you can help us, Nia. You can help save Chicago students. I want to show you something. Jamie, the feed. There, there. Our taco, the burrito, their tequila, their sombrero. What's happening, Larry? Look, the hackers are under control. It's not a big deal. You're making a bigger deal out of this than it needs to be. We got it covered. Larry, why don't we just, why don't you hire them? You know, like uh, like the CIA and that fake checks guy, like Hanks and uh, no. like Hanks and Leo. Why don't we just Hanks and Leo them? Yeah, uh, we've tried that. Um, we actually have one that's working out really well. The other ones are just more difficult. Have I shown you guys the alternative center, actually? Our names are not attached to this, right? Get it off the screen, Larry. This is the Alternative Center. It has one purpose, control. A system programmed to understand rules and order and the things that Larry Allen programmed it to understand. Anything outside of these rules, this order, this programming is considered a threat. Something to be eliminated, erased. Larry Allen will do just about anything to maintain control of SchoolNet. Like this. Stop! David, stop the simulation. Dang, I'm sorry, are you okay? Will you help us fight the machine? Transform it from within? Or will Larry Allen turn you into this? Larry, seriously Larry, let's, uh, let's talk engagement, all right? Two and a half months in, and uh, the kids don't even know how to use the goddamn controllers. What's going on here? Look, our people are working on something. Why don't we just do like Pocket Man? What? Remember Pocket Man? It was like that game where you went around with your phone and you cut, get little critters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you train them, uh, hatch them. Yeah. Uh, I got to level 20 in like two weeks there. Yeah, it was addicting. Damn, nice. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's real simple. Just give them something to collect and uh, set up those competition gyms. You know, kids have to learn the controls so they can navigate the area, give them uh, little things to collect, and reward them with some... Yeah, you reward them with coins at first, right? Free coins, no problem. Coins come in with the in-app purchase. And then, you get more coins with product purchases. You keep you them get, plugged in for hours. Yes, yeah, more coins with uh, checking into your store, downloading your app. Larry, you really gotta count on us for all the good ideas? That's perfect. You know, when I eat raw broccoli, I always get a little scratchy throat. Does everything make your throat scratchy? I have a lot of mild allergies. This is only gonna get worse. They're gonna make a lot of money in Chicago, and then it's gonna spread. Oh God, you're a bummer, man. Well, I mean, they're gonna ditch SchoolNet if they can't make money off of it, right? So we just gotta get them when everyone's watching. Like during that Pocket Man thing, the Pocket Man tournament. Mia! Mia! I have an important announcement, so listen good and tell your friends. SchoolNet is launching a new program called Pocket Man 4000. <laughs> Get
get your game on ASAP because at the end of this week, Schoolnet is hosting a Pocket Man 4000 tournament. Third place receives a brand new Nebula. Second place receives a year of free rides through a lift and the first place winner receives a $4,000 cash prize in the comedy title of Pocket Master! <laughs> I'm stumped. What was in that firmware update? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> All right, so this is what they got. Oh, I love Pocket Man. Why'd they have to do Pocket Man like this? They destroy everything that's beautiful. Yeah, I know. And here are the parts of the new firmware update. Hey, wait, 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 wait. The winner gets to do a victory speech. If we can pirate that broadcast, we can show it to everyone. Yeah, but we're totally gonna get caught. They're all worked up about kids cheating because of the prizes and stuff, so they've got a bunch of staff dedicated to making sure there's no funny business in the code. That's all they've got? Well, that's still more than us. Nia's gotta be in the office and Nat's out. Oh, Nat. Did they get her? Nah, she's just grounded. You know what? This, that'll work. She's so rich. That's that stuff gets sold at like. What is going on? Why right. are there stickers? Like I see these stickers everywhere. They're all over my cameras. It it like it makes right. them sharper. Like when you take the sticker off, it like cleans the gum mm -hmm. off the lens. Mm -hmm. Look at you, Lily. I never see you anymore. <laughs> I mean, we don't see this one anymore because she's just too busy for the both of us. So. Mom, can we not? Oh, sorry. Tonight is the last night to sign up for the Pocket Man 4000 Chicago Cup. School Net students will battle their way to the championship gym to earn fabulous prizes and the title of Pocket Master. Tune into WBN tomorrow for live coverage of the citywide tournament. Bye. I've actually never seen him in real life. He's just, he's like... CGI? I mean, he looks real, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Today is a pivotal day for School Net. We have over 5,000 kids signed up for this tournament and anticipate close to half a million people watching the results. Everyone is watching. This means we need to be vigilant. Any suspicious code change or pattern needs to be reported. Any hint of cheating, hacking, manipulating data needs to be shut down right away. Anything less than perfection will be a failure for Schoolnet and could frankly jeopardize this company. 10 minutes to launch. Yo, Paolo, you good? Yep. Jamie? <laughs> David? No. What? I'm just playing. I'm good. We've got some great people working here, and Schoolnet is a great company. When today is over, the world will recognize this is the future of education, and you will be part of the revolution. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Yeah! Hell yeah! Now that is more like it. Schoolnet is proud to present the moment you've all been waiting for. The largest online educational tournament ever with close to 5,000 contestants all battling for the title of Pocket Master. Before we begin, Put your hands together for the CEO of Schoolnet, the one, the only, Larry Allen. <laughs> All right, kids, it's a single elimination tournament. You've got 5,000 kids, so that'll be about 12 rounds with attrition and cheating. Any attempts to manipulate, hack, or in any way modify the code will immediately disqualify you from the tournament and may result in disciplinary action because it is not fair to everyone else who plays by the rules, okay? Thanks, Lair. All right, you heard the man. Get your controllers because the battle's about to begin. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Kyle, are you there? Larry, what's happening? Call me sir. 
เขามี king 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 l a r y I'd rather not that is a joke Kyle you got to get better at jokes is there something you wanted to discuss um it's I mean it's a it's a really big day for school net so I just I think I just wanted somebody to talk to it. Sponsored by Schoolnet. Let's take a look at the bracket, shall we? We shall. <laughs> wow, hundreds of students eliminated in the heat of virtual battle. You remain, but one will win the title of Pocket Master. <laughs> a reminder: if you use mods, hacks, cheats, you will be eliminated from the competition and may face disciplinary action. Is anybody getting anything to stick? No luck on the players, but I'm trying to patch the video through with Ralph's computer. I don't think he has the clearance. Yeah, I did. I got one to stick about three rounds ago. And never mind, he just lost. Hey, Louisa, what if this doesn't, you know, work out? It's gonna work. And then there were eight. This is the final hour. Who will be Pocket Master? <laughs> Almost there. Stay focused. Please, could you just make this stop? It is just not funny this time. I could lose my job. Please. And Ralphie's dead. Tell me something good. Apollo. You're a very handsome young man, and I just wanted to tell you that because he just got me, and I don't want you to be mad at me. You still my bro? Yeah, bro. Kids log hours. We get state funding. Yes. Like no oversight at all. The state doesn't have any say in how you spend that money. None. That's the whole idea. 
Whatever Schoolnet doesn't spend on kids, we keep. Put me in, Coach. I'm ready to play. I'm in. Swing! Kyle, shut it down. Shut it all down. Shut it down. You'll need to increase my security clearance if you want. I don't... I don't... Okay. S security clearance nine? Whatever. Just shut it all down immediately. for this, right? Or worse? Can you let go? Part. If anything happens to us, you have to share this. Oh. Wait, wait. Dude, you guys pulled it off. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, man. You're like a genius or something. <laughs> I should probably go, right? It's getting kind of late. I mean, my mom's like out cold. You can stay. You <laughs> All should right. stay. All right. Last night, a Chicago company was the victim of one of the largest cyber terror attacks in history. It, it was very scary for me. I was afraid for my life and my job. They locked me in an office and they cut my hand. Ralph Walters, an employee of Schoolnet, wasn't the only one disturbed by last night's unexpected attack. Students and parents weigh in on their experience. This whole pocket man hack thing, I mean, it's not fair to us. Well, it's not fair to her, right? But what's right is right and they should do a do-over on this thing. I worked so hard to be a pocket master and these hackers just took it away from me. They need to be punished now. It's been a bumpy road for the new virtual reality company that's been tasked with educating Chicago students. But CEO Larry Allen seems confident in a new plan to smooth things out. 
Safety and security are very important to me and when I think about those poor kids being scared in their homes and someone using my servers to reach them, it upsets me deeply. This week we will implement our new state-of-the-art alternative center designed specifically to deal with these disgusting cyber attacks. That was some good stuff, you guys. <laughs> Did you see it? I liked it. They are a serious threat. I think the mayor was right when he said that we have to shut down some parts of the internet. Oh my god, are you serious? What are they threatening? They broke into a secure line. That's private property. Oh, that's what you're mad about. Are you protecting terrorists? Terrorists? I mean, come on, they showed a video. Did you even see the video? Well, I did. I saw it, and you know, it wasn't really scary. It was more just like ironic or something, you know? Schoolnet, it's a big scam. They caught this guy, the CEO. They caught him on video, and he's saying that he doesn't give a shit about the kids wearing the headsets and they'll be drooling on themselves as long as he's getting a paycheck. Yeah, it was pretty upsetting. Yeah, uh, y'all too much. I'm gonna take my line with me. I bid you all adieu. Bye. Okay, bye. What's that about? Quitter. What are you looking for? My phone. Have you seen it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know where it can be. Do you want any time? Mm -hmm. No. Actually, yeah. Can I use it to call me? Oh, never mind. Found it. No missed calls. Okay, that's a surprise. Guys, I was looking through the data from Schoolnet Privacy League, and you know they can like look at the kids' habits at any time and collect all their data, and then they can sell it back to advertisers. And legally, that's legal? Yeah, they can do it completely legally. And then the most messed up part is then the advertisers buy ads to sell right back to those same kids. It's completely screwed up. Oh, I know. We said we were gonna fight back. These are our kids, and we can't let this just happen to them without any type of fight, right? What are we, what are so we what are we gonna do? Sam, what the hell? Dia, why are you doing this to me? It's not fair. I, I was so nice to you. I invite you to get pho. Oh, I love pho. Shut up, idiot! I wrote a poem about you that I was going to show you at our first date, and, and I thought we had some. Sam, I'm sorry. You, you're upset. We were never together. Yeah, these friends, these friends that you've been hanging out with, these are terrorists. What the hell, bro? I am not your bro. Do you know that they're breaking the law? And I don't, I don't want to see you ruin your life with them, Nia. I care about you. Sam, <laughs> I'm sorry you're upset. No, you're not. <laughs> Do you need anything like water or something? I don't want anything to drink. I just want you. Too. I'm sure there's a lot of girls that want to be with you. Like who? I don't know. I mean, you're funny. And you got money. And you're cute. Thank you so much for saying that. I just, I don't know. I really like being your friend, Sam. But you can't rat us out, okay? Those are my friends too, and if Larry Allen finds out, we're all gonna be sent to those alternative centers. Okay, no, I know. I'm, I'm good, I promise. I won't say a word. I mean, my dad tells me that Larry Allen's got some of his own shady stuff going on anyway, so 
don't worry about it, okay? Okay, thanks, Sam. Larry, is this a bad time? And um, no. We might have a lead on the pocket man hack. Nothing is verified, but it seems promising. Really? I usually like to get a burrito sandwich, but I don't like plantains, so I'll just make them put bread on it instead of the plantain for bread, because I don't like the plantains because they're not bread. Gross. That's what I eat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nia. Hey, isn't she pretty, guys? You see her? She's so pretty. You got everything, Mom? You know what? She works for school now. She, she's the devil. She's like the devil. Hi, right, Nancy. You're free to go. Mom, come on. Sorry, Mia. I'm sorry. It's really not the end of the world, Mom. I don't mean just about tonight. I just mean all of it. I'm a horrible person. All I do is I drink and then I complain and I drink and I complain. And then I light back some shit on fire. Mom. <laughs> no, it's true. That's all I do. I don't know. I mean, I loved teaching. Even though those kids are like horrible sociopaths, but I, I still, I, I love them and I miss that. Now what am I supposed to do? I don't even know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so sorry. I'm such a fuck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Move your shore! Move your shore! Open up! Hi, um, my name is Lily. I don't know what's happening, but if you can, please help. Please help. Please help. I didn't do anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't deserve this. Please help. SchoolNet is the largest education provider in Chicago, serving some of the city's most vulnerable students. It is also the target of several large-scale cyber attacks. The criminals responsible for this cyber terrorism remained at large until today. Nancy, it's me. Is everything okay? I need you to get my daughter. Lily? I'm in TSA right now. He's... Yoel, I'm on it. Don't even worry about it, okay? Please leave your message.
Welcome to the Alternative Center. Be safe. Be productive. Be better. Lily is sure. Get up. You're coming with me. Oh, hey. Too much. Uh -huh. Welcome to the Alternative Center. Be safe. Be productive. Be better. You know what this is, right? Yes, sir, paper. Hey, Lily! <laughs> hey, don't look so down. You'll be out of here in no time. Just read these words back to me, okay? And we'll even reduce your alternative sentence by half. Now, uh, how about a lawyer? Can I get a lawyer? Actually, no. You can't see a lawyer. You can only see parents who can determine the best route for legal help, but unfortunately, yours are currently having trouble in airport security. Seems that they have connections to a cyber terrorist organization. You, can, you can't do that. Oh, really? I can't question a cyber terrorist? Look, you were offered a carrot. Now you're getting the stick. This is your last chance. If you care about your friends and your family, you are going to fess up and tell me everything that went down and everyone that was involved. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Yo, so I was peeping, I was on eBay, I saw this like this BMX bike. Yeah, $500, I was thinking like, you and me both throw 250, we could split it on weekends, like, like every Saturday and Sunday, and then you take it the next Saturday and Sunday. What do you think? I'm get, I'm cool to get pegged, Sam! man. Sam! Mia, yeah, hey! Back off! What do you think you're doing? Ian, it's cool, bro. This is this is my best friend, Nia. I was telling you Best about friends? It. Yeah, bro, I told you. We're tight as heck. You she doesn't chilling. look like your best friend. She's... Can you just give us a moment, bro? I'll text you about the BMX bike, okay? Whatever, man. Just did, bro. I'm Ian, by the way. I'm so sorry. You weren't supposed to about that bike, meet him ever. You promised! I... I... What was that? I didn't... You jealous little child! Just because I like someone else doesn't mean you can throw them in jail! <laughs> yeah, I... I didn't... I, I didn't say... Anything. You little rat! You cowardly little rat! <laughs> Stop crying! I can't! Hey, hey, everything alright, you saying? No! She just broke my heart! Oh. Alright. Yeah, I swear to God, I did not tell them anything, okay? I wouldn't do that to you! I just had the worst week. I mean, my cards stopped working in my nebula. And my dad has been like so distant. He didn't even text me back. Can we go inside? Yeah. Welcome to the alternative center. Be safe. Be productive. Be better. I'm here for uh, Lily Asher to pick her up. Um, her dad told me to come and get her. He's on vacation, um, but he told me to come and he's I'm gonna. I'm sorry, ma'am, but. We can't release Lily at this time. What do, is it a fine? Is that is that it? I'll pay it. What, what no. is it? No. No what? If you don't let me see her, I'm her temporary guardian. Okay, I'm responsible. And her father told me to come here. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna take your picture and I'm gonna post it all over the internet and I'm gonna say that this man steals people's children and locks them in the basement and does weird things to them. <sighs> Lily, I'm okay. I mean, how can I help you? Maybe I've got something. Some Vicodin or... Why aren't you wearing your glasses? You should be wearing these, you know, because your headaches, if you put them on and leave them on and wear them all the time, you won't get your headache and then you can Alright, time's up. What are, uh, what are these? Oh, I brought her her glasses, because um, she gets migraines, so if she doesn't wear them all the time, she's going to get sick and puke, and it's going to be disgusting. Thanks, Mrs. So. Anderson. Welcome to the Alternative Center. Be safe, be productive, be better. Welcome to the Alternative Center. Kyle, do we know where Nia is? We think this is her. It looks like she's with Sam. Anonymous 
tip of speed. Amakasura is on the way. Lab I is closed. Anyone still in the building is trespassing. Lab I is on emergency lockdown. Law enforcement is arriving shortly. Do you have a computer lab here? Yeah, which kind? Any kind. Just what's the closest one? Bro, oh, you look great. Rip, you should probably go. Yeah. Uh, okay. $400,000 over our security budget. Yes, that's fine. And they'll be expecting a quarterly report. Whoa. That's the alternative. Hang on. No, no wait, wait, wait. 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 The specialty singer. Oh, we have you. I'll sing it all for you. Who wants oh, to that's sexy. With somebody? Okay, thank you. you. You've had your fun. <laughs> I'm gonna close this forever. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. I used to speak to my parents. I used to speak to a lawyer. Both very reasonable requests, and I haven't gotten to do either. We've been here for five so days. Yeah, They're not five days. When we're gonna leave? So they they, they only gave once me tap water. They took our phones. It's they took our degrees. clothes. I'm yeah, we don't have chance. What's that file? I don't know. In the early 1900s, textile mill owners started using machines and fired skilled workers so they could make more money. They hired cheap laborers, like vulnerable migrant women and children, like 12-year-old kids, to work in dangerous conditions for barely any money. A lot of them died. How many? One in three. One in three, actually. One in three died before the age of 25. This is so stupid. Then, everyone got pissed, got angry and they took to the streets. They demanded bread for survival and roses for respect. They just wanted to matter. Factory owners left the machines running to try to trick people into thinking everything was cool, even without the workers. But people aren't dumb. So they asked for schools, like for kids. They asked for a safer workplace, and then they asked for like, um, like cash. And they got it. Very 
Alan is letting machines run and pretending like everything's cool. Everything's not cool. Our parents can't get jobs and we can't go to good schools and it's just hard to survive. So me and my friends decided to do something about it. We'll probably get caught and put in the alternative center. And if I'm seeing this, well then, yeah, I'm stuck, but you're not. If enough people share this video and change their profile picture to Brad and Roses, then maybe Larry Allen will cave, like that textiles dude. And maybe things will get a little less shitty for everyone. This is never gonna work. What the hell was she thinking? Why do you still have this on? This is how they're tracking us. They open the door. Schools are supposed to be safe places for kids. The school is online, and that network needs to be secure. You understand that, correct? No. I'm a kid. I just got sprayed in the face by a grown-ass man. How can you pretend to keep kids safe? I am correcting your behavior because it's dangerous and threatening. Threatening? To who? Who am I threatening? Who am I hurting? We are still having security breaches, and this is threatening the innocent kids that use SchoolNet. You need to tell me everything you know or things are going to keep getting worse for you, your friends, and your father. You coward. You're just a scared little man, aren't you? Yeah? You threaten a bunch of kids, so that makes you feel tough, makes you feel big? Every hour I'm in here, it costs my company $1,000 an hour. Three thousand. Your cost for every hour I'm in here. I'm trying very hard to stay composed. I just want my little. Locking door. In three, two, one. Door locked. That's awesome, but I don't see the filter or the video anymore. All right. Give it a second, give it a second. If it, if it looks like bread and roses, if it even resembles bread and roses, I want it destroyed. Okay. <laughs> 
trace of your existence is gone. Everything is gone. You don't exist. Schoolman. 
I have the same level of security clearance as you, and our shareholders agreed that this is the best move for the company. Oh, hell no. Larry, you are receiving a $20 million retirement package, and you will have no association or claim to SchoolNet. Kyle, we can still talk as friends though, right? I'm sorry, Larry. Kyle? Goodbye, Larry. Kyle! Kyle! Hey, Nia, you want some baklava? This stuff is so good. It's got like these thin layers of phyllo dough with little... No, thanks. Do you know when I'm... Oh, hey, Dad. Hi, Sam. Oh, good. You're having some of the pastry. And did you offer some to Nia? Yeah, of course, but she said no. Oh. So... Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't mean to be rude. Um... You're not being rude. It's over. You won. Have a seat. My dad's taking over as CEO of SchoolNet. Larry Allen's ass is out of there, and the alt center's done. Right, Ted? Right, kid. Nia, the protests sent a powerful message, and you seem to have emerged as their leader. So you are the type of people that we want, we need, at SchoolNet. So how would you like to take over for me as new CTO? You would be the youngest CTO to ever work at a company this big, like ever. You know what a CTO is, right? It's the chief tech. I know what a CTO is, Sam. If you'd like to be involved in the future of education, forming its path, then this is the type of thing you should give serious thought to. I'd offer it to the boy, but he's, well. <laughs> I'll give you some time to think about it. Feel free to have some pastry. It's really quite so good. good. Sam, tell her about it. So it's got like this honey like sauce thing on it, and then inside there's like like walnuts and pistachios. And my dad actually knows the guy who works like a couple days at the restaurant. And he gives him like an extra free piece every time. So that's so good. Cool. And so like we get this. What is up, kids? My name is Sam Basinski, and I am so freaking stoked to announce that I will be accepting the position of CTO at SchoolNet. Also, Dad. I want to address you personally. I am so stoked and proud of you for locking down that position of CEO at SchoolNet. So as you can tell, the Bazinski boys are going to be bringing a lot of new changes to the company and things are going to start to look a lot more dope around here.